Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing um, deep core connection fluid vinyasa class. We're going to focus on the subtleties of how we connect to our deep abdominal muscles, the abdominal wall, the lower abs, the transverse abdominis, TBA, uh, the core, the superficial abs, we're just going to pay attention, refire that connection, awaken those muscles. And for many people, they're asleep, the abscess is wrecked after pregnancy or after weight gain where the muscles are stretched or after surgery. Or for many people, those muscles just never really woke up. They never connected to them, so they have poor posture and just poor abdominal wall pushy belly because the muscles kind of give in from the abdominal pressure. All right, are you ready to flow with strength? Mm -hmm. Starting in the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down and begin to scoop, scoop, scoop your lower belly basically. If you imagine that your pelvis is a little vessel and you're just scooping water. So now I want you to start including the Kegel muscles or Mula Bandha. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Beautiful. Now I want you to include the muscles in the lower belly and lift them up. Scoop and hold. And now exhale, scoop and hold and lift. Again. Beautiful. And now I want you to also pull the sides of the two sides of the transverse abdominis from the center towards, from the sides towards the center. So there is a lot of action going on. Up, in, lift, exhale, hold, and try not to create tension. At the same time, try to find the ease in the move. It is very particular move. Focus, mind, body connection. One more. Exhale. Paul, I was doing this yesterday and my, my entire core is sort of deep inside. Very effective. Keep doing it until you get it. Sometimes it may take a while. It may take a long time to get that. Usually connecting to muscles can take a while if they're really inactive or dysfunctional. All right, inhale over the head, clasp the hands, reach over to one side and over to the other and back to center, exhale down. Inhale, look ahead of you, step your feet, not quite as far back as for down dog, just a little closer, bend the knees and bring the knees into your rib cage. Release. Now be light on your wrists and shoulders. Stack the shoulders above the wrist and let's pull. As you pull the knees up, you're gonna do the same action with the abdominal wall. You scoop everything in, almost like a vacuum, but you're very aware of each and every segment of your muscles. Exhaling, Mula Bandha, up, in. Release. Now we'll add the fun S, the most fun part. We're going to do the same thing and windshield the knees. Precise work, really good for diastasis. You can really 
cinch your back in good for bringing the everything inward where it needs to be where it belongs not like corsets forcing it in but just finding that strength and basically the natural the, the healthy corset this is the healthy corset class maybe that's a good word <laughs> Oh, good. Are you ready for one more? Use your breath. Great. Releasing down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Pull the belly in and bring your nose to the knee and really squeeze that belly in one two three four five and drop your left the other edge of the left foot down on the ground both hands are down so you're using a little bit of a spinal twist here and we'll do knee in to knee in to knee in, to knee in. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Take side plank, pull the belly in. Plank to down dog. Inhale, lift. Knee to nose, one. Really scoop the belly in. Two, three, four, five, and opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down dog walk your hands to the back clasp your hands behind walk them to the front inhale right leg comes up step it through high lunge extending the tailbone down here stretching the left hip flexor we're going to come standing onto the right leg and do the same thing Exhale, kegel muscle, lower belly lifting up. So everything is, you're feeling the direction of the muscle. You're feeling the energy, the direction of the energy. The energy is lifting your abdominal organs, everything can, contained in the pelvis is well supported by the connective tissue and the musculature. All right, left. And back to lunge. And again. And lunge, you're doing good. And again. I lunge to a twist, twist, coming up, straighten the leg, face the long side of the mat, plie, reaching side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and exhale down, chaturanga or cobra up dog, pull the belly in, 
down dog, so we're stretching, opening, doing back extensions, and here flexion. When healing and awakening muscles, we can just focus on the muscle we need to heal. We need to approach it holistically, focus on all the muscles of the body, build overall strength. Let's go on the left side, high lunge, coming up. Remember your points. One, exhale. Two, mula bandha. Three, up. Four, in. Five. <laughs> All right. And back. So the smile reminds you to, to not be like that. To just do it with the ease part of the motion. Let's go again. And back. One last. Step it back and temper twist. I just recorded a really long class like this one with that type of focus, small muscle development work awakening for our membership for our next 30 day program. Right now is the booty program running and the next one will be something like, I have to come up with a name, but it will be probably a corset or basically the more mindful, small muscle, advanced in the sense that deeper understanding of the body, deep core, strength, body. All right, coming out, straighten the leg. Plie, I hope you're feeling some awakening. If you're not, keep, keep it up. It may take a while. Different people have different level of muscle dysfunction and we all have somewhere. So that's why we keep revisiting going in the strong muscles, which is core and <laughs> booty. Those are the ones that can keep your spine posture upright. <sighs> keep the other muscles healthy. Plie, let's stretch side to side to side to side, lift your heels lower, one, two, bring the hands in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, come out, step your feet just a tad closer, <clears throat> now we're in the alignment for white squat, Lower down, lift, come up, lower down. Lift the heels, lift the arms, come up. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Squat to leg lift, squat to leg lift. Feel your core as you do your squats. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, and plank. And lower down, cobra. Stretching the abs now for, in order to stretch them properly, don't hang in here, shoulders forward, elbows locked, the back, crushing the back, no. 
find that length. You're bringing that length and imagine your spine is a rainbow and the rainbow is going into the upper back as well. Right, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Feel your belly. Reach. Exhale. Side angle. Feel free to be here if this is more comfortable. Elbow over the knee, hand on the floor. You will look down, reach with your right hand on the outside of the right leg. Glide it out, flex the right foot, stretch it forward, open the chest. Now, look down, bring both hands down, flex the right foot and use this as the better version for today of pigeon. This can be the deeper version, it can go deep into the IT band. You can lift that left arm. Right arm strong, very good. And vinyasa, up dog, down dog. Inhale, the left leg up, step it through. Warrior two. And reach up and over. And side angle, take your level. You can reach over the head, stretching those obliques that are, we worked on the obliques in the deep abdominal stretching. Great. So here you will take your left arm, flex the left foot, press it forward, open. You can reach up. I have a window behind me. Very good. Now you can look down, keep flexing that left foot. It is intense, but in a good way, if it hurts, just back off, find the area, the place for your own mobility. Unlocking the hips, freeing the hips so that they're strong but also balanced and open. Right arm reaches forward and back to center. Plank. You can shift back and forth here. One, two, three, four, and five. Bend the knees and turn into reverse plank, point the toes, lift the hips as high as you can, hold and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift, and lift more. Release and right leg over the left, twist, look behind you. You can here bring the knee, right knee over the left and reach forward or bend forward. Quite a few things are stretching here. We're stretching adductors, hamstrings, hips. Opposite side, keep the chest open, press the extended leg down, drop the shoulders, look back, elongate through the crown of the head and bring your knee in and reach forward here, ease into that stretch, allow, allow the stretch. So 
those of the feet together. Now we're going to bring knee to foot and then change, 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 shake and go wash your hands. Pause the video, go wash your hands. We're going to finish with some happy face poses so that you're looking happy in the world and <laughs> not worried. So let's go with the forehead pose that lifts the eyebrows and makes the eyes expressive and nice. So bring your fingers onto your forehead and stretch them out. Not over stretching, but pull them out. Try to furrow your eyebrows. And you can glide the fingers just lightly. Furrow, furrow. Real strong. All right. Now hold the fingers here and right above the eyebrows. So the pinky is right above the eyebrows and and lift your eyebrows having the resistance of the fingers and you lift so hard that this part of it, your hair will move forward so you're engaging the muscles all right All right, you can stretch it out. Bring your knuckles and give it firm pressure. Firm pressure in the jawline. Moving up. Tap it in front of your ears, behind, and gently wipe your fingers down the neck. And smile, and we're done for today. So thank you all for joining me today for this class. It was a pleasure to spend this time with you. Remember. To subscribe and to hit the notification bell because <laughs> there is a lot of classes coming up and you want to be notified otherwise you may not see the classes being posted which some people tell me it happens so yeah make sure to hit the notification bell because even that's not a guarantee but it it's a little more likely that you'll be notified when there is a new video from me and i'll see you with our next class now remember to share this class with anybody that has had a baby abdominal surgery they're recovering they're trying to strengthen the belly strengthen the abs strengthen the core and they're looking for um, a system that allows them to find the missing link basically all right thank you and remember to flow with strength and ease namaste